Anvi, am I audible to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anvi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Manvi, and uh, I have completed my bachelor's in uh, of in uh, uh, twenty twenty, and I am currently working in uh, Clario as a drugs junior drug safety associate. Are you working for Clario? Yeah, Clario uh, Bio Clinic, sir. It is. Hello, sir. I'm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Anna, am I able to you? Arun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In the last class, we have seen how to create a table. In SAS, when we have a data in a text file, and we have seen how to create a data set. How to create a data set when we have directly with the SAS, and we call the data as a name. Getting? Yes, sir. Your voice is not clear. Am I audible now? Uh, yes, but the background like which? Yeah. Is it okay now? Still, you are getting lot of noise. Uh, now it's okay, sir, because everyone muted. Okay. in the last class we have seen how to create a table when we have a data in a text file and we have seen how to create a table how to create a table when we have data directly within the sas again we'll start from the data when we have direct data directly within the sas and what we call it as when we have a data directly within the sas in stream data or data or in stream data Our data or in stream data. So, I am taking few lines of data here. I am writing one zero one. Name is A B C. Age is twenty three. One zero two. Name D F. Age twenty nine. One zero three. Name K L M. Age twenty seven. One zero four. X Y Z thirty one. Can you please tell me how to write a program to create a table from this data? The Data. 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 Set. Data. Set. Data. Set. Data. Set. Name. I want to have a data set name. Say, for example, T S one. Semicolon. Semicolon. In file. In file. In file. Data lines. Data lines. Data lines. Data lines. Semicolon. 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 Input. Input. ID. ID. Name. Name. Dollar. 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 Yeah. Dollar. Dollar symbol. I'm just getting too much disturbed. Double double voice. From where you are getting double double voice? From my side. Samara. Samara. Samara getting voice uh, double sir because of. To whom not using the headphones you are getting double double voice. Yes. Everybody, can you please use earphones? Sure. Now semi semi colon. Then what we should do? Data lines. We should write one more time data lines and semicolon. Semicolon and run at the end. Semicolon. After the data, run semicolon. Now, 
I'm selecting the program. And I'm executing the program. Where this table will be get created? Work library. In the libraries folder, work library. We can find the DS one here, and here we have three columns and four rows. And in the last class, I told you in SAS, a column is called as any. Column is called as a variable. Variable. Row or record is called as a observation. observation. We call it as an observation, and then table is called as a data set. Data value. Data set. And each and every data point is called as a what you call it as a data value. And I told you this is called SAS terminology. When we have a data in a Excel sheet, how we can get the data? So, for example, I'm going on to my desktop. On my desktop, I have SAS folder. In the SAS folder, I have SAS data folder. In the SAS data folder, I have Excel folder. In the Excel folder, I have few Excel sheets, and here. Have one of the Excel sheet. This one, cars. Now I am opening that Excel sheet. This is the Excel sheet that I have. In this Excel sheet, I have 428 car models information. Who is the maker of the car? What is the model of the car? Type, origin. Drive train, MSRP, invoice, engine size, cylinders, horsepower, like that one. I have huge information. Now I want to create a data set from this data. So how to write a program when we have a data in an Excel sheet? And you know that an Excel sheet is going to be very organized manner. We are going to have the predefined columns, and we are going to have predefined rows. When entering the data, we always get enter the data in those rows and columns, and wherever the rows and columns is going to get intersected, we call it as a cell. So data is very organized. So when we have a data in a text of in a Excel sheet, how to create a data set? Now I will write a program to create a data set from Excel sheet. Little bit different. From the previous program, now see what I'm doing right now. I'm going to the SAS window. I'm going to start writing the program. I told you in the last class, SAS has got four important functionalities. One is data access. The second one is the data management. Third one is the data analysis, and the fourth one is the data yeah, reporting. For the data access and management, what is the step we use? Data step. Data step, and what the step that we use for analysis and reporting? Analysis. Analysis. But I told you that is not a strict rule. Sometimes we use a proc step for access and management, and sometimes we use a data step for analysis and reporting also. So, if you want to get the data from an Excel sheet into a SAS data set, now. Even though it is a data access, we use a proc step. What do you mean by proc step? If you start a program with the keyword of proc, we call it as a proc step. Now I'm going to start my program with the keyword of proc. And the real time, <coughs> sorry, each processor will, is going to have a name. And what are the name of what is the name of this processor? That the name of this processor is called. Proc import. That means I am importing the data from outside from an Excel sheet into SAS. So this processor is called as a proc import. Now I have written the proc import. After the proc import, now we should write an option called data file is equal to. Then now we should tell where we have the data. Where we have that Excel sheet. We should give the path of the Excel sheet. 
understand proc input data file is equal to do you know where we have the excel sheet the excel sheet is present on my desktop in sas folder in that sas data folder in that excel folder and now this is the excel sheet do you know how to get the path of this one? Right click. Properties. Go to properties. Security. Now, location. Copy the, copy the path. Now, go to the program and paste the path. But I have the location up to the folder. In which folder right now we have this cars Excel sheet. You know that in the Excel folder, what is the name of the Excel sheet that we have? Cars. Cars. So now we should keep one more time backward slash and then what we should do you need to write the car and by the way what is this cars it is an excel sheet now i told you if you write only the file name that is not enough you have to write the extension also now how to write the extension how do you know what is the extension i told you if you want to know extension what we should do Again, you should go to properties. In the properties, we have a type of file. In the type of file here, we have a Microsoft Excel 97-2003 version worksheet. That is fine. And after that, can you see what we have here? Within the brackets, we have dot .excel. Now, if you are using 97-2003 version of MS Office, now the Excel sheet extension is dot .xls. But if you are using advanced than the 2003, then the extension is going to be dot xlsx now depends upon the what is the version you are using it is going to be either dot xls or dot xlsx whatever it may be we will find in that type you have to write in the type of file that's it okay now since we have a dot xls here now i'll go back to the program i'm going to specify dot xls sorry dot xls i told you in the last class Whenever or wherever you are writing any file path, how we should write the file path? We should always write the file path within the inverted quotation. If quotation. you keep a double inverted quotation set in one side, on the other side also, you should write the double inverted commas. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, we import data from text file, no, sir. Uh, yes. We can also start with proc uh, step, no, sir. I will tell you we later. Data. In no, I will tell you later in what, what scenario you can write proc step when you're writing it, when you're getting the data from text file. Okay, sir. Thank you. Now, statement is not get, still ending. Now we should write at least one space. Now we should write out is equal to data set name. Out is equal to what is the data set you want to create? I want to create a cars data set. Now you should write the car. So that means whatever the name you are writing here, with this name in the work library, you will get a data set. Now, statement not getting over, still you should write, you should give at least one space, and now we should write DBMS is equal to database management system. DBMS is equal to whatever the extension that you have written, that is going to be the DBMS. Since I am writing XLS, and the same XLS you should write here. Now the statement got over. You know that if the statement got over, what we should do? Semicolon. So specify semicolon. Very good. And then now the program is getting over. How to say program is getting over? Run. Very good. Run semicolon. semicolon. Now can you tell me how many statements we have in this program? Two statements. We have only two statements. Three statements. We have only two statements. See how many times I kept the semicolon? Two times. No, we have only two states. Okay. Now I am selecting this program. I am executing this program. As soon as I execute the program, now can you see I have cars data set and this data set contains 15 variables and we have 428 observations. This so is how we, we will enter the variables in the program only, no, sir. But uh, how can we tell that SAS, uh, SAS uh, which is the variables are inside the file? Now, we'll go back to yesterday's program. 
Do you remember how we have created a data set when we have a data in a text file? Yes, sir. Now, can you please tell me how to write a program when we have a data in this demo one text file? Remember what the program that what we have written in the last class? Oh, yes, sir. Now tell me how to write a program when we have a data in a text file demo one. Now tell me what we have done in the last class data. Data, data set name. Data set name. EMP, EMP. Say for example. Semicolon. Semicolon. In file. In file. Good. In file. We should write path of the text file. Text file. Right click. Properties. Properties. Copy the location. Control plus C. Go to the program. Paste the path. Backward slash. Backward slash. Demo Take one. And we should write the extension mm. within the with we should write the path within the double quotation. Double, double inverted quotations and then semicolon. semicolon. Then what we should write? In input. file data line. Input. 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 We should write input. the input. column names or the variable names. Input. MPID name. Is six, six salary, salary location. Now I am going to write the column names. EMPID name dollar, dollar symbol is six dollar symbol dollar symbol salary, salary location, location dollar dollar symbol semicolon semicolon run. This is the program that what we have written in the last class. Yes. Sir. See if I select the program. Execute the program. We have EMP data set, and this data set contains six variables and 23. 23 you know, when we have a data in a text file, you only should write the column names. You should tell which columns you should have. But when we have a data in Excel sheet, you didn't write any column names. Understand? You didn't write any column names. Then how SAS can understand what is the column names or variable names you should have? Yes. So when we when we are writing a processor called PROC import, PROC import processor is a very intelligent and it's a very clever. You know what it will do? When writing the PROC import processor, whatever the Excel sheet that you are importing, you know what it is going to do? Whatever the first row that we have in the Excel sheet, by default, the first row will come as a variable name. You no need to tell anything. See what we have in the first row. Can you see? Make variables. Model, model, type, origin, drivetrain, MSRP, invoice, engine size, cylinders. Can you see? And these first column value, first row values will come as a variable name. From the second row onwards, this will come as a data. So automatically SAS can understand when you're importing an Excel sheet, it will get whatever we have in the first column, it will get it as a variable names. From the second row onwards, it will get it as a data. So that means the second row is going to become the first observation in the data. The third row is going to become second observation and so on and so on. This happens only when the when we take. When you're writing a proc import only. Proc. Okay, okay. When you are writing a proc import only, SAS can do that one. Okay. But when you're writing a data step, you have to tell what is the column names you should have. Okay. Because okay. generally, when you're getting the data from a text file, you never write a column names in the text file. You will have only the data. Okay. But when you're creating an Excel sheet, by default, what you will do? In the first row, you will write the column name. And SAS knows that, and it will get it as a variable name. That's why, see, if I open the cost data set, can you see what is the first variable that we have in the cost data set? What the variable name we have? Make. Make. From where you got that make? The first row of our Excel sheet. Isn't it? And what is the second variable name we have? Order. Model. Can you see here? In the first row here we have a model. 
I have one more Excel sheet called Africa. I want to import this one. Now tell me how to write a program to import Africa Excel sheet. Tell me again. Proc import. Proc import. Proc import. Proc import. Data file is equal to. Data file is equal to. Very good. Data file is equal to. Is equal to. Copy. Path of Copy. 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 Path of Excel sheet. Path of Excel. Right click. Properties. Location. Location. Control plus C. Go to the program. Paste the path. Backward slash. Car. Africa. 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 Dot Excel. Dot Extension. Then. Inverted commas. Space. We should write within the inverted quotation. Inverted commas. Then, in the how same statement, how do you call to data set name? Africa. DBMS. DBMS. Excel. DBMS is equal to Excel. 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 Run. Semicolon. Semicolon. Run. Run. Semicolon. Run. Semicolon. So select the entire program and execute the program. So can you see we have Africa data set? Which contains uh, how many variables we have? Seven. Eight. Eight variables. Eight, eight, eight variables. And how many observations we have? Five thousand. Five thousand. Fifty-two thousand. Fifty-two thousand. Fifty-two thousand. Eight hundred and twenty-four. Twenty-four observations. Understand this one? This is a. Uh, how we create a data set when we have a data in an Excel sheet. Clear everybody? Yes, no? yes, sir. In the classroom, I have written the program only two times, okay? And you should write the same program maybe 20 times or 30 times. You should practice so that uh, you will get familiar with it. Okay? Now, sometimes uh, data also comes in CSV file format. Now, what do you mean by CSV? CSV means uh, comma, separated, values. Sometimes the data comes in comma, separated, values file. Here, on my desktop, uh, I have SAS folder. Again, in the SAS folder, I have SAS data folder. In that, uh, I have a folder called CSV. In the CSV folder, I have few CSV files. And one of the CSV file is in a hard. By the way, we can open a CSV file in an Excel sheet. And we can open the same CSV file in Notepad also. See, I have given right click, open with, you can open an Excel sheet or Notepad. Now I am opening in the Notepad. Or can you see, when I am opening in the Notepad, how the values are separating? Separated by comma. That's right. This is called a comma separated values file. Okay, you can open the same CSV file in Excel sheet also. And how do you know this is a CSV file? Again, give a right click, go to properties, or can you see what we have here? Microsoft Excel, Excel comma, comma separated values. values file. That's why this is called CSV file. Now, how to create a data set when we have data in CSV file. Same way how we have written the program for Excel sheet, in the same way we are going to write it. Now we'll see how to write it. Now you should write proc space import. Then we should write data file is equal to. Now you should go to there and get the path. Right click. Properties. Copy the location. Go to 
the program and Hard. paste the path. Backward slash. Hard. Table name, sorry, file name, hot. Hard. Dot. Dot. CSV. CSV. Very good. It's a CSV file. We should write a dot CSV. And then, since it is a path, we should write the path within the inverted commas. Good. In the same statement, now what we should do? You should write out, out is equal to the data set hot. name hot DBMS. Then DBMS is equal to whatever the extension that we have written, we should write the same thing. Semicolon. Keep a semicolon. Now run semicolon. Now I am selecting the entire program. I am executing the program. Now can you see? Yes, we have hot data set in the work library and it has got 16 variables and it has got 5,209 observations. It is information about the cholesterol levels of 5,209 patients. Understand this one? This is how we create a data set when we have a data in a CSV file. Can you help me to write the program for one more CSV file? Now, yes, on my desktop, here I have one more CSV file called GAS. I want to import this one. Now, how to write the program? Now, I am writing proc space import. import. Data, data file, file is equal, is equal to, to copy and get the path. Now, tell me how we are getting the path every time. You should give a right click. Properties. Properties. Look oh, location. Location. Go to the program. Go to the program. And paste. 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 So many steps involved, it is going to be very annoying. Now we have a shortcut for this one. What is the shortcut that we have? You know, just, just be carefully observe what I'm doing. Now I'm going to the file path. You know what we should do? First of all, click on the file, hold the shift button, hold shift button and give a right click. And you hold the shift button and give a right click. Now we have a window. In this window, Somewhere we are going to have a copy as path. You have to click on the copy as path. If you click on this copy as path, now it is going to copy the path along with the quotations. See, now I am going to the program. I want to show it to you something. Now I am pasting the path just under the path what we have done previously. But can you see what we have now? In the same way, we have that what is the path that we got last time. But now can you see it is coming along with the quotation. Now we no need to do the multi steps. Understand this one? Yes. See, I am going to remove the pass again. We will do one more time. Okay, tell me how we should do it. Click on the file, hold the shift button, right click. Shift right click. Copy as path, go to the program, Ctrl plus B. Paste. Paste. You see, we have got along with the quotation. Now, space, what we should do now? Out is equal to? Very good. We should write out is equal to data set name. I want to have gas. DBMS is equal to CSV. DBMS is equal to CSV. Semicolon. Run. Run. Now, I am selecting this program. I am executing this program. Now, can you see we have a gas data set which contains four variables and we have, you know, 171 observations. Clear this one? Yes. Sir. This is how yes, we create a data set when we have a data in an CSV file. Now, here I have a data set called EMP. From this data set, I want to create a new data set. That means I want to take a Xerox copy from the 
existing data set. You know how to take, just take a value you can take a Xerox copy when you have an original copy with you. You can take how many Xeroxes you want to have, you can take how many photo stores you want to have, you can take it, right? Photocopies. In the same way, I have an EMP data set in the work library. I want to create EMP1 from this EMP data set. If you want to create a new data set from existing data set, now this is how we should write the program. Data space. What is the new data set name you want to have? I want to have a new data set name EMP1. Semicolon. Now from where you want to copy this one? From which data you want to copy? EMP. To tell that one, we use a statement called set. Set means copy. From where you want to copy? I want to copy from EMP. Now semicolon. Then what we should do now? End of the program. Run semicolon. So data, new data set name, set existing data set name, and run. Now if I select the program, if I execute this program, now can you see? I have a new data set called EMP1 and this EMP1 is also going to have the same data of EMP. Understand, see, if I open the EMP1, this is also going to have the same 6 variables and 23 observations. Now tell me, one more time, I want to create a data set called cars1 from cars. Write a program data is new data, data set name. Cars I want to have cars one semicolon set cars 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 semicolon run semicolon. If I select the program age group, yes, you are going to have a cars one, and the cars one is going to have the same data of cars. See, this is cars, and this is the cars one. Can you see both the data is going to have the same data? Yes, it's a, it's a copy. So in the real time, we create so many times a new data set from an existing data set. Why we should create, and I will tell you later, why we should create another data set from an existing data set. Clear so far? Yes, sir. So yes, far, sir. we know I am writing, say, for example, you know, 101, name ABC, age 23, gender female, and she is a developer, and she is getting salary 30,000. 102, name DF, age 29, gender male, and he is a tester, and he is getting 50,000. I have 103, name KLM, age 31, male, manager, and he is getting 90,000. 104, XYZ, 27, female, HR, and she is getting 80,000. Now, this is my data. I want to create a data set. Now, I am writing a program, data, data set name, I want to have a demo, end of the statement semicolon, then I am writing in file, since we have in stream data, I am writing the data lines, semicolon, input, input, ID, ID name, name, age, age, color, sex, designation, designation, Salary. 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 Data lines. Data lines. Sir, dollar symbol. I didn't specify the dollar symbol. Now we'll see what is going to happen. Now, do you want to make keep the dollar symbol? Where we would, where do you want to make keep the dollar symbol? Name. name after, after, symbol. after the name dollar symbol, very good. After the set, so you should write the dollar symbol. Set role. And then after the role also, you should write the dollar symbol. Very good. Now, if I execute this program, yes, we have a demo data set. 
if I open the data set, this data set is going to have six variables and uh, how many observations we have? Four observations. Four, Four observations. Now my question is, uh, how SAS knows that 101 should take into ID, ABC should go into name, and 23 should go into age, female should go into gender, developer should go into role, and 30,000 should go into salary? Numerical data it will assign okay. on right side and characteristical data which is in left side. That is fine, but how it knows that it should take only ABC into name? What do you mean by sequence? In the back end, we are going to have a system called input pointer. Now, can you see my cursor is blinking before 101 here? Yes. Just yes. imagine this is called as an input buffer. Now, you know what is going to happen? In the input statement, what is the first variable we have? ID. ID. ID variable. Now, it will start here. The rule is, you know, space or eight characters, whichever comes first, it will stop there. Now, see, one, zero, one. Now, what we have here? Space. Space. Now, it will stop here. Now, this one, zero, one will go to ID. Now, what is the next variable we have in the input statement? Name. 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 Now, after the space, again, it will start here. Now, see, one, two, three, we have a space. Now, ABC will go to which variable now? Name. Name variable. And after the space, again, it will start. Two, three, space. 23 will go to which variable now? Age. Age variable. Very good. After the space, one, two, three, four, five, six, space. Six characters. After six characters, we have space. space. Now, female will go to which variable now? Excellent. Excellent. After the space again, it will start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do we have any space, anywhere space between the developer? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It will stop here. P E V E L O P E. Will go to which variable now? Role. Role variable. And very good. And now this R will be get ignored. Mm -hmm. Because by default, maximum it can take only eight characters. Okay. Okay. Now after the space again, it will start here. Now tell me, see what is going to happen? One, two, three, four, five digits. We have a space. Now thirty thousand will go to which variable now? Salary. 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 Okay. Now understand how SAS can know that which value should take into which variable. By default. Space is the delimiter. The value which is present before the space will go to first variable. After the space will go to next variable. After the space, whatever the value will have, that will go to next variable. And after the space, whatever the value that we have, it will go to next variable. And so on and so on. So that means by default, space is the delimiter. Able to understand this one? Yes, sir. You see, that's why if I execute the program, if you go to the first observation, can you see what we have in the developer? R is missing. R is missing. Also, R. I can read only eight, eight characters. Yeah. I will tell you later what we should do when we have more than eight characters. At the time being, we'll discuss, we'll write variable names very short, we'll write less than or equal to eight. Understand this concept so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I'm writing one more data here. I'm writing, sir, for example, 101, name Lata, age 23, female, and she is earning 50,000, and she is from, and she is, <coughs> sorry, developer, and she is from Chennai. 102, I have, sir, for example, Suman, age 29, male, he is getting 70,000 salary and he is a tester and he is from Bangalore. Now we have 103. Now we have Kumar. He is 27. Male he is getting 60,000 and he is, you know, again, technician. And he is from, you know, Pune. 101. 
zero four abu iban el eighty thousand nazar and is from Delhi and one zero five ina twenty nine female and she is getting sixty five thousand and she is admin she is from Bangalore. I want to create a data set. Now I am writing a program. Data space data set name. I want to have a data set name. Say for example, DS1 semicolon. In file, I since we have stream data, I am writing data, data, data lines. Semicolon. Then I am writing the semicolon. Input, ID, ID, name, name, age, 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 Salary, now I am selecting this program. I am executing this program. Now tell me in which variables I will get the data. In which variables I will not get the data. In numerical uh, ID, data. age, age, salary, salary. Will get I will get the data in ID, age, age and salary, but age I will not get the data in the name, sex, sex name, role, role, location, location. location. We'll see why. According to this program, all these seven variables are numerical variables. All the seven variables are numerical variables. Numerical. Now, it will start here. You know, I told you what is the rule? Space or eight characters, whichever comes first, it will stop there, right? Yes. Now, one, zero, one space. Mm. Now, this one, zero, one is a numerical value. ID is a numerical value variable. It, it can read the data successfully. So now in the ID variable, you will get the value 101. Now after the space, again it will start here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, space. Now Lata will go to which variable now? Name. name. So. But now name is a numerical variable or character variable? If you don't write, no, no. If you don't write, if you don't write a dollar symbol, this is a numerical way. Yes. But what is the data I'm getting? Character. Data. Character data. Character data. So a numerical variable cannot understand the character data. You will not get the data. So you will have a dollar symbol. And the next variable that we have is variable. Now it will start here. After the space, it again will start here. Now can you see what we have? 2, 3, space, 23. Now 23 will go to which variable now? Age. Age variable. Age is a numerical variable. Data is also numerical data. Now you will get the data and you are going to get the data as a 23. Now according to this program, now sex is also a numerical variable. But it will start here. See what is going to happen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 space. Now female should go to which variable now? Characteristics. Variable. Variable. variable is a numerical variable. Data is coming character data. It cannot understand. Now we will get a dot symbol. Okay. Now the next variable is a role variable. But next variable is a salary variable. Now it will start here. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 space. Now this 50,000 will go to which variable now? Mm -hmm. salary. 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 So salary is a numerical variable. Data is numerical data. You will get it. Understand? And what is the next variable that we have? Role variable. Role. Now it will start here. Now what? will start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So match what you can read 8. Now we have a D E V E L O P E. Now this will go to which variable now? It should go role. to role variable. Role, variable. And role, is a, role is a numerical variable. It cannot understand the character data. Character. You will get a dot symbol. 
and then what is the next value that we have location <laughs> now it will start here i told you eight characters of space whichever comes first now one two three space now chennai will go to which variable now you should go location. to location but according to this program location <laughs> is a numerical variable it cannot understand the character data you will get the dots that's right if i execute the program we have a ts1 data set now we will have a data in id and we will have a data in age and the salary but you will not get the data in the name sex role and location because of, according to this program all the seven variables are numerical variables so we are getting the data in only in id age and salary now what is your understanding what is our conclusion now your conclusion must be you know a numerical variable a numerical variable can read can read only numerical data isn't it yes sir see all seven variables are numerical variables only but why i am getting the data only into id age and salary it is not possible to take characteristical data that's why because of only in id age and salary we have a numerical data that's why we are getting the data into id age and salary so your conclusion must be a numerical variable can read only numerical data that's why all the seven variables are numerical variables so we are getting data into only three variables because in three places only we have numerical data understand this one yes, now what should i do please tell me what should i do if you want to read the data into name successfully what should dollar, i do dollar, 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 dollar. you should specify the dollar symbol dollar. now as as soon as you keep the dollar symbol now this name variable will become character variable so if you don't have a dollar symbol that variable is numerical variable no, if you have a dollar symbol that variable is a character variable again if you want to get the data into sex what we should do dollar no, no, no. now sex is going to become a character variable now if you want to get the data into role variable what we should do dollar symbol now the role will become a character variable and if you want to get the data into location what we should do dollar symbol now location is going to become a character variable Understand so far? How? Now I am executing the program. Now can you please tell me? Did we get the data in the name, sex, role, and location or not? Did we get the data? Yes, sir. We get. We got yes, the data. Now what is our conclusion? Our conclusion must be like this one. Numerical, sorry, character variable. Character variable can read, ah, uh, can read character data, can read the character data, isn't it? Understand this one? So a numerical variable can read numerical data, but a numerical variable can read only numerical data so far, but a character variable can read character data. And I told you, in the data set, numerical data will always align on the right side. and the character data will always align on the left side of the column see name is a character variable left side sex is a character variable left side role is a character variable left side and the location is a character variable left side and can you see id value how we have right side or left side right side right side and can you see how we have the age values right, right, right side. side and how we have the salary values right side right side so numerical values will align on the right side numerical data will align on the right side character data will align on the left side yes. understand this one yes, now i am going back to the program now after the id variable id id i am going to specify the dollar symbol now tell me now id is a character variable or a numerical variable character variable so if you specify dollar symbol this will become a character variable but how the data is coming for id numerical is it? numerical so data is a numerical data but now the variable is a character variable so what will happen if i select the program and execute the program now we have a ts1 but can you see 
Do we have the data in ID variable? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that means what is our conclusion? A, a character variable can also read numeric numerical data. A character variable can also read numerical data. But I told you, numerical, what is the default alignment of numerical data? Right side. Right side. Right side. But now, can you see how we have the ID values? No. Though it's a numerical value, we read this data as a character data. That's why, in general, who will be on the left side? Character data. Character data. So, so that means, so even though the values appear as a 101, 102, like that one, we read this data as a character data. That's why we have left side alignment. Now tell me what is our conclusion can be. Now we can also write a character variable. Hmm. A character variable can also read, read numerical data. Numerical data. Numerical data. Numerical data. Numerical data. But uh, in character format. That's why we have an element on the left side. Now, so we have two types of variables. Numerical variables and character variables. Numerical variable can read only numerical data, but a character variable can read both character data and numerical data. Now tell me, what is going to happen if I specify dollar symbol after the A's? Am I going to get the data or not? Yes, sir. I get the data in the A's variable or not? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes we will get yes, the data, sir. but how we are going to get the data? We will get it as in a character format. Character format. Now, if I specify dollar symbol of the salary, am I going to get the data or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, we will get the data. We will get the data, but we are going to get the data in character format. Character format. So what is the problem if you get the data in character format? If you get the data in character format, which is a unfit for arithmetic operations. That means sir, you cannot do arithmetic operations on character data. Understand this one? Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, in SAS, we have only two types of data, character data and numerical data. We have only two types of variables, character variables and a numerical variable. So, a numerical variable can read only numerical data, but a character variable can read both character data and numerical data, but it will read in character format. Understand this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, so far, if you do guys have any doubts in today's class? No, sir. Yes. Sir, bro, Excel uh, tables, uh, practice tables, cosm kone download just now, sir. Okay. I will .cvs file format here. CSV. How is the CSV file? Yeah, uh, the import just then the raw sir. Same. What is the program you are writing? Same program, sir. Just check on the rest. It laptop loan, sir. Yes, sir. Can you share just sir of operation? Error or something. Then screen mm -hmm. sharing here stop just now, no? Okay. Is screen sharing just now, sorry? You know how to do the screen sharing? Ah, uh, there is. So, then, me laptop can the uh, up arrow can be seen, no? Screen mirror? Ah, can be seen. You should click on the up arrow, click just there. Now, it will ask you, share your entire screen. Yes, you should click on the share your entire screen. Okay? Yes. Your entire screen will change. Okay. Yes, sir. And you will get an, a window up there. Oh, yes, sir. So you should click on that window and the share button will be get activated. Yes, sir. Here, click share. Yeah, now I can see you. You know, my chassis is SAS open chain. Sorry, I hear from Delete Chandy. 
చూడండి రాంగ్ రాశారు సిఎస్వి రాయాలి సిబిఎస్ అని రాశారు ఇది సిబిఎస్ ఫైల్ యు కాపీ ద పాత్ ఆర్ యూ పేస్టెడ్ ఇట్ పేస్ట్ ఒకసారి మళ్ళీ ఫైల్ పాత్ తీసుకురండి ఒకసారి వేర్ వి హ్యావ్ దట్ ఫైల్ ఫోర్ దే షిఫ్ట్ బటన్ మీకు రైట్ క్లిక్ కాల్ కాపీ ఎస్ పాత్ గో ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ remove the path and remove the entire program right now mark import is equal to paste the path you said difference of the in the mundi ever sir ante meeru when you are typing you have typed it in c b s c b s Now it is a CSV. How it is equal to say for example base what? EBMS is equal to CSV. Hey, call them. Let's go to the program. కాపీ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ అగైన్ కాపీ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ కంట్రోల్ ప్లస్ టీ క్లోజ్ ద సెషన్ అండ్ రీఓపెన్ ద సెషన్ అగైన్ ఓపెన్ ద సెషన్ అగైన్ నాట్ సిఎస్వి ఫైవ్ ఓపెన్ ద సాస్ ఆఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నీట్ టు దియా ఓపెన్ ద లైబ్రరీ ఎనిమిది <laughs> Thank you. Still we are into the demo and just a demonstration and basics only. I will tell you from yeah. where you should start practicing. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yes. In text file, uh, uh, is there no, sir? Uh, creation of table. 
uh, we are doing in SAS Mazar text file using text file we are creating the table uh, in Excel also we are creating the table uh, by using the software Excel so between two of them which one easy sir from your uh, side sir from your end what is on this proc import Excel sheet because you don't need to write the variable names you don't need to tell which one is a character which one is a numerical so SAS can take care of it simply by writing a proc import sir always Excel sheet is the far better. Because if it's a text file, data will come in non-aligned manner. Data is going to be non, not, it is not going to be in a standard manner. So we need to write so many things in future to read the data successfully. In SAS, sir, you are telling? In SAS, yeah. Yes, sir. Because uh, practice I have got, uh, and I'm already Excel, uh, table creation is easy, I'm thinking <laughs> like that. Always Excel is easy. Anybody? Sir, is it possible to import the data from Excel sheet to by using data steps, sir? No, it is not possible. Okay, sir. Anybody? Any doubts? Okay, then. See you in tomorrow's class. Sir? Yes? Uh, SAS installation, how I should do, sir? So, where do you stay? So if you come, if, if it is possible, you can come down to, you can drop yourself to institute so that they're going to install it. Otherwise, they're going to send you a link. So you need to download the SaaS software first. Then oh. they're going to do installation online. Actually, I received a computer name, user ID and password. So computer name, user, that is an A. You can practice server in the server. But if you want to have your own SaaS software, you should install SaaS software in your system. Okay. okay. At what timing you can come, sir? I think uh, you can ping them. Like you know, you can they, you can come any time from morning nine o'clock to afternoon five six, evening evening five to six. Okay. Thank you, Shubhi. Sir, how to practice in server? I, I'll let you know. I'll show you. I'll demonstrate server and all. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir.